Hey, Lego people! Happy almost Friday! I hope everybody's had a good week. My week has been pretty good, as you can see from the Lego bag in front of you. It's always great when you can end your day with a Lego bag. Little, medium, big, it's all great. There's always going to be something fun in there. So, I went to the Lego store today to make some purchases that I've been putting off because this week is double VIP points week. So what that is, is basically if you are a Lego VIP member, which if you're not and you buy Lego anywhere ever at the Lego store or even Lego.com, you should be because it's free, just like a shopper's club card for your grocery store and you get points back. And I think it rounds to be somewhere around like five or 10% or something, but that's all math that I'm not good at. So I, I'm not sure, but it's a pretty good amount. So basically this week, what they did is Lego said all week from the 12th to the 20th is double points. So when you shop for Lego, you basically, you can see um, on the website, it'll show you, here's your set, your set number, the price, and how many VIP points you'll get. And then basically this week, take that VIP point number, double it. And it's always great. Whether you're just starting to collect them or you're just trying to like get your number up to something really big and, you know, be able to, to buy stuff. Basically, you trade them in for uh, other Lego items. You can trade them in for, um, they have on the website, you can get like coloring book pages for like 10 points or something. Um, you can even trade them in for tickets to Legoland. Anyway, check it out. If you're not a, like, a VIP member, no reason to not be. But anyway, enough of that rambling. Let's see what I got. All right, here we go. As you can see, there was a bunch of stuff in that bag. All right, let's go small to big. All right. So first thing we got is I was in there today and I noticed they had some new minifigure packages all set up. I love minifigures. If you don't know that by now, go back and watch some more videos and you'll figure that out. I do. I love the minifigures. Um, they're just so fun and there's so many different kinds and I, it's just, they're great. So I don't have any of these little blue puppies. Uh, from Series 21, I probably have six or seven of the Dan Brown puppies, but I don't have any of the blue ones. So now I have two, and they can they can hang out and play together. And you can see with this little blue puppy, oh, throw him around. All right, so he's got just a little blue body there and his puppy dog head, and on the back. He's got a cute little tail. <laughs> so we got two of him. Now for this, you can get three minifigures and uh, accessories and, it, and it's $9.99 US. And, or you can just pick out 15 pieces and same price. So mix and match kind of however you'd like. So then we got this guy here. He's just kind of a little worker guy. He's got brown or tannish hands, so he's wearing some kind of glove. You know, focus. Ooh, there we go. And he's got some stubble, so he's been working hard. He's got he's to shave when he gets home. He also has a second face. He looks a little mad on this side. So there we go. So and then his overalls, you can see on the back, it's another print. Then we got the, the little thing dangling down there. And then he's uh, ooh, he's wearing some jeans with a little belt and stuff. So I thought he was pretty cool. And then they had these new tile printed tile pieces. And it's kind of like a parfait. It's like kiwis and blueberries, strawberries on a little, like a pie. And I was like, oh, yeah, give me two of them. So I got two of them. And then tennis rackets. Ooh, you'll see. Okay. So that's for my minifigures. We'll put them over here. And then they actually had today, we got a sticker pack. This was, I believe, on 
sale at the store because it was like $4.59 and I think online it's $5.99. Uh, so this was actually on sale at the store. This comes with all kinds of fun, cool stickers that you can use on your bricks if you're building your own stuff. Um, this is my fourth pack. I have not opened or used any of them but at some point I will actually be gutsy enough and I will and when I do I will have plenty and it comes down here with some tiles and some signs some pieces that you can like you know use and and you can put these stickers on so there's that then we got another friend set and it is the set 41422 panda jungle tree house so this has three little pandas in it and it's like got a tire swing um and we it's just all just a little tree house basically and they're in the jungle a guy's got two of the mini dolls we got we got olivia and mia um i'm not that familiar with the mini dolls um so you know i i don't know they they work they can hang out so anyway we got that and we'll be putting that with our other uh, our other friend sets. I haven't decided where or how they're going to incorporate into the city or what section, but I'm sure that they will find a good home. So there's that. And then let's see. Well, we kind of went like medium back down to small. So we got a set uh, six zero two six three. The Ocean Mini Submarine. Now, I have the uh, large package, uh, the large set that goes with this. So, this underwater um, theme here has three different sets. A small one, one that's like medium size, and then a large one, which I already have. And these things will all be going into my underwater area in the Lego City. So, they're all going to be really cool to have. You can see you get like a hammerhead shark with this one, which is pretty much why I got it, because... Having fish and all kinds of cool stuff under the water is going to be really neat. So, and then, of course, you get a little minifigure in there as well. Oh, the guy just, like, floating around getting some treasure. So, we got that one. Then, we got this one as well. Just another small little set. Set 60286 Beach Rescue ATV, which will be going on the beach area of the lego city so underwater above water it's all going to be in the same place but again with this one you get another little shark there and this he's got like a little jet ski to go out rescue someone and uh you know just his little cart that he can run around on the sand and make sure everybody's following all the rules so we got that little set and then we'll talk about these in a minute but we got this set finally set 75810 the upside down so this set is based off the tv show stranger things from netflix this set actually is a netflix merchandise set it says so right on the box which i thought was kind of neat official merchandise of netflix so i thought that was kind of cool so anyway i uh i have not watched this show but I, I hear really good things about it. And I also hear that regardless of whether you have watched it or not watched it, it's still a really fun build and a really good set to have, um, at least for display purposes. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where it's gonna be is, uh, just kind of on a shelf somewhere looking cool. And it can be, upwards or upside down i guess it can stand on either one of these sets of trees from my understanding i've seen it both ways so this should be really super fun to build plus it's got a really cool minifigure he's upside down here but um i i did get sent a picture of what that minifigure looks like in the show and uh no i prefer him as a minifigure for sure he's really really creepy so anyway so this is the last set that we got then we got three pick a brick cups one two three and i am very very happy with these cups so let's dump them out make them all nice and neat before we put them all away and i'll show you guys what i was able to get in these three cups all right here is the results this is what 
we got. Not bad for three full cups. And I have one cup here, completely full. There we go. Completely full of these white one by one tiles. Or I'm sorry, one by two tiles. So let's go over what I got real quick. And then we'll tell you what's going on with them. All right, so over here we got a pretty good hunk there of these uh, these light blue, I think they're the light azure uh, slope pieces. I thought these were a pretty color, and I think that they'll actually look really well like in a water area um, just to give some extra texture for things. Um, so this... And and even if I don't use them all there, they'll get used. They, they're they just really pretty, I think. So then over here, we got some of these one by four fence pieces, just a very short fence. And I already have these uh, over here. I have a, a little drawer of them. I got, you can see a couple other colors in here as well of the same piece. Um, and then this fence, just kind of like my little fence fence drawer here so these will go in with there and I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for but uh, I don't feel like they're a bad piece to have and then here you'll see I got a pile of carrots and a pile of carrot tops what am I going to do with them I don't know yet but something I, I know that if I come over here I do have a lot of bunnies so I mean they might get hungry but I don't know. So we'll see. Then we have some orange stud, round studs, one buys. Bunch of them. We got some trans yellow flat tiles. A whole bunch of them. We got a bunch of trans blue cylinders. Ooh, and they like to roll away. All right, got a bunch of them. We got a lot of these green flower pieces. We have some one by two uh, dark orange tiles, a bunch of them. And I do also for those, I have an entire bin right here of those. And those are, will be added to that. And tiles go quick. So whether you're using them for sidewalks or walkways or anything I mentioned a little bit ago, they're gonna actually go by quick because you gotta remember guys, they are only one by two. So then, all right, so we got these green flowers, saw them, and then we have these brown uh, two by two circle tiles. And I got some more of them. And those make for good like uh, dirt paths or cobblestone, things like that. You'll see here, if you look at the front of the uh, Diagon Alley, of course this is gray, but it's the same principle. This is the same size tile. So you could just make a different color with like brown and you know, you could make some kind of really cool like kind of walkway or just design around something. And then we got these, and these are so pretty. These are trans blue one by bricks. And again, with those, not really sure what I'm going to do with them, but I think they would look amazing, like in the water somewhere, or even like around the water, maybe in like a stained glass window somewhere, um, you know, just just somewhere that it, it's just going to be nice. So, and again, that's a lot of bricks. So in all reality, your, you know, your, your pick a brick wall is going to be a really good deal for you to get a bunch of bricks, especially if they're small, for a little bit of money. There's a ton of videos out there, guys, on how to properly pack a pick a brick cup because they are only this big and they don't let you completely overflow them. They do like the top to be on there. It can just sit and wiggle a little and you can tape it on. But if you go too over, they make you get another cup. And they do have a smaller size, but that's just silly. So you definitely can get a really good deal with the smaller stuff no doubt. So what are we going to do with all this stuff? All right. Well, first thing is, I know you guys haven't had a big city update and you will either tomorrow or Saturday. Not sure if I mentioned that already, but if I did, here's a reminder. If I didn't, there you go. 
What we're going to be doing over the next couple of days is working on the beach area. So hence all these water looking pieces, these blues, um, these trans blues, these flower pieces, those blues, some white for, I don't know, something. I do have other plans for those though, but we are going to be working over here. Now I know you guys haven't seen the Ninjago area very often. I've kind of skimmed past it and it is one of the most detailed, huge areas in the city. It's awesome. And I love it. And what is going to happen is we're going to surround it by the water and then it's going to flow to the underneath. Now, I'm not sure if the underwater area is going to be touched on this weekend or not, or if we're just going to be working on the beach, but we do have this beach set here, uh, set 60153, and it's just got a bunch of people and a bunch of beach activities and some really cool, fun things to add and populate like a, any kind of beach or water area. So this is the plan for the next couple days is to make this area amazing. I think this is going to be a super fun area to like make really cool. So, all right, guys, that's it for today. Oh, don't look at that. All right. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video and come back for more. See how that beach turns out. And there will be another video out before you know it. So guys, Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button to make sure that you come back and you see more. Watch the city develop. I also have other plans going on and it has to do with Mills Plates and Mills Roads. And I'm going to show you all kinds of cool stuff. Some you've probably seen, maybe some you haven't. Maybe you haven't seen any, but we'll see. So, all right, guys, I will talk to you all really, really soon. But until then, it is just my bricks and me. Bye, guys.